What's up, YouTube? Like, comment, subscribe, and the vibe. I'm out here in PA at the terminal. Um, they told me to pull up to the terminal because I got something going on with my truck. Something with the uh, something with the um, the sensor in the front of the truck. There's something going on with it, so. They had me come out here to PA at the terminal. Shout out to all my Warner drivers. Um, I know once I come out here to the terminal, it's always a wait. It's always a wait. And today is Thursday, which is like my Friday. So I already told my manager I'm gonna need a uh I'm gonna need a rental because my truck ain't gonna be done till maybe Saturday. And I need to get home, so uh, yeah, that's what's going on right now. I told them uh, my left headlight is out. I've been driving my hobbies on because I didn't wanna, I didn't wanna come out here to this terminal or go to in the shop period, but since I'm out here, they can fix that. And um, I'm missing a mud flat. This is my truck right here. I got a little, uh, they put this note on there. I didn't know we wasn't supposed to, uh, I didn't know we wasn't supposed to park out here with the, uh, with the truck. I thought, um, we could park the truck and trailer together, but they say you're supposed to um, unhook. You're supposed to unhook from the from the trailer and park the uh, the tractor up there in the front where I was showing y'all a little while ago. But um, yeah, this is stuff that you gotta be ready for in trucking. I came up here to PA last night slash this morning got up here about three four in the morning um and i had to you know i had to sleep in my truck this is trucking y'all usually i go home every day usually i go home every day i'm with my family every day so when i do gotta stay out for a day or two i'm not really uh i'm not really worried about it because I'm always at home with my family, so. And in trucking, like they say like the first year, even though I've been in trucking about two and a half years, they say the first year you um always out on the road. And um, that was the case for me. I was out on the road for about two months. And then I found an account where I could get home every day. Well, even then, when I came to the Stables account, I was I was home on the weekends at first, but then I got a dedicated route, a dedicated route, and then I was able to go home every day. So, um, yeah. So, now I just got to play the waiting game. They said um, they're going to let me know how long it's going to take, by 4 o'clock. Right now, it's like, what time is it? It's like, it's, it's 1 o'clock. One of my coworkers is up here. He said he's up here for MTP, which is a mid trip. Uh, what is it? Mid trip pre MTP. Look, see, I don't even know what the hell I'm talking about. It's like a mid trip inspection. Mid trip inspection. That's what he up here for. He said, you know, he. All right, y'all, so yeah, like I was saying, I'm over here at the terminal in PA, waiting for them to call me to um, pull my truck in so they could work on it. Um, This terminal is all right. They got a um, nice little, no, I'm lying, the gym is not nice. The gym is not nice. They got a treadmill, a elliptical, some cables, no dumbbells, nothing. They just got some cables, so a little while ago, I was doing some cable work, working on the biceps, 
You know what I'm saying? You gotta stay fit as a truck driver, man. You can't let yourself go. So, right now I gotta wait though. I, I, I'm, I'm waiting on a shuttle. I'm gonna actually go out there in a minute because I'm waiting on the shuttle. So the shuttle could take me to um, this little mall area where they got Walmart, Chipotle, and stuff like that. I think I'm gonna go get some Chipotle because I can't take my truck. They, once you're in here and they need to work on it, they won't let you leave the um, terminal with the truck. They, they'll put a hold on you and so that the um, security won't let you out the gate. You know, safety first. They big on safety. Oh man, man. So, um, I said I was gonna keep picking up this camera. I'm gonna keep doing this content for y'all. If y'all want, um, if y'all got any ideas or any other videos y'all want me to, uh, work on, or, you know what I mean, just leave it in the comments, which y'all want me to talk about within trucking, um, fitness related, um, whatever, I'll talk about anything, man. I just need some topics, though. I might have to Google some topics to talk about, because I don't want the, um, content to just be based on trucking and working out maybe uh you know talk about other things too yeah man so oh another thing this is what i want to tell you about saving money saving money as a truck driver i should make this a whole nother video because i think i'm gonna make this a whole nother video Matter of fact, I'll add it in here just to make the video uh, a decent amount of time. Oh, shout out to the female truck over there. She's staring at me. She must see me um recording or whatever. But um, saving money as a truck driver. Before I got into trucking, I was working for Amazon doing deliveries. I was making 600 a week, maybe, maybe six, 700 a week. I got into trucking. I started making the first year, the first year in trucking, I started making, um, it was uh, 75,000 for the year. So I, basically I was getting like a thousand or more a week, maybe 1,200, 1,300 a week. Yeah, I'm talking after tax. This is what I'm bringing home. This is what I'm taking home. And um, I felt like I was spending way more money. I was like, what happened? Just the year before that, I was doing good. Uh, well, not doing good, but I was basically maintaining with $600 a week. I get into truck and I'm making double the amount, $1,200, $1,300 a week. And I'm not saving. Well, at first I, I was saving a little bit, but then I started gambling and I started spending more money so I started like doing sports gambling with the fan duel or DraftKings. shout out to all the people that do gamble but that's a dangerous game right there it's a dangerous thing to um I mean it's cool to gamble once in a while but I feel like I started um I started uh hold on this guy too close to my truck and I think he's a new driver so I started um I started getting addicted to gambling. I still um I'm still working on that because that's that's a whole nother addiction right there. That's a whole nother addiction. For the people that gamble, they know. For the people that's around you that know you gamble, they know how it is. So, you know, I'm still working on that. That's no joke, man, that gambling stuff, man. So I, I noticed, like, damn, I'm getting there. And then, you know, I, I, I drink occasionally on the weekends or whatever. Well, I drink at almost every weekend, which I'm about to stop all of that. No more gambling. Well, gamble once in a while and drink once in a while. Not every weekend, because I, I tend to do it every weekend, so... Um, yeah, so I, I caught myself like, damn, man, I'm spending all my money gambling, drink. Well, not all my money, but yeah, a lot of money. I was spending a lot of money gambling and drinking on the weekends. 
So I was like, yo, what the hell am I doing? So I got to focus up. So I started falling back on the gambling, falling back on the drinking a little bit now. And, um, yeah, it's August. Today is August 8th. I said I need to save up a couple thousand. Like, I need to save up at least seven to seven or oh, let's say eight to ten thousand by um october because i want to um i want to take a nice little trip for my birthday whether it's a you know three four day trip or whatever so um yeah like a lot of truck drivers a lot of truck drivers i see i'm on a facebook i'm on a facebook group Thing with all the truck drivers and a lot of truck drivers claiming they um they live in check to check and it shouldn't be like that especially if you over the road you really ain't got that much expenses or whatever and same same with me i really don't have too much um expenses so none of us should really be living check to check unless you you know your overhead is too high so um a lot of truck drivers come out here, spend spend a lot of money on, you know, spend a lot of money on outside food, and um, like what a, I don't I don't know what else they could be spending money on, but you know, unless they sending money home or whatever. But in my case, I told y'all what it was. I was um, gambling and and drinking on the weekends, and at first it was cool because I used to win a lot too. That's that's what I ain't mentioned. I used to win a lot gambling. I used to win a thousand every other week. It was one time I won uh two thousand in one day, and then the day after I won twenty eight hundred. So you start chasing that um, it's like a high. You start chasing it. So I had to fall back on that because then I started losing money. I was like, oh hold on, but um yeah, as long as you know you got a problem then you good. Now, if you feel like you don't got a problem and you really do, then you need to uh, call them people. <laughs> Word. So, um, yeah, a lot of truck drivers claim they work um, living check to check. I don't I don't know how, you know, that's crazy. So, um, yeah, we got to work on that as truck drivers, man. We come out here, try to, especially if you on the road, you should try to save your money as much as you could. If you living on your truck, um, yeah, the truck, you know, the truck stop full and eating all that nasty outside food. That's unhealthy, man. So, if you on a truck and you you living on a truck, buy an air fryer, buy a juicer or a, a smoothie maker, and buy your stuff from like Walmart so you could cook on the truck. Buy a little microwave. You know what I mean? So you could cook on your truck instead of going to McDonald's, Burger King, and all that junk food and stuff. Yeah, man. So I'm about to um, I'm about to go uh, go hop on this shuttle so I could go to. Well, I'm not going to Walmart, but I'm going to Chipotle. That's you know, if you're going to eat some um some outside food then Chipotle is like one of the best things you could get when it comes to the fast food oh um, what else I wanted to talk to y'all about oh I'm making a video on my two year experience in trucking I'm gonna make another video probably later on uh yeah I'm gonna try to post it today if not I'll post it tomorrow um yeah I might I might record the inside of the terminal just so y'all can see how it look you know they got showers for the truckers they got um they got little vending machines they got microwaves like i said they got that little gym or i don't even call it a gym they just got a few you know little gym there what else they got uh what else they got there for us um Oh, they got the washing machines and dryers, and they really cheap. They probably like 50 cent a wash, 75 cent to dry. Yeah, so I, I, I'm a matter of fact, I'm gonna go out there and make a little video and add it to the end of this video. So, like, comment, subscribe. Y'all know the vibe. Bow.
Foda.